All right. Thank you, um, Lily and Tatum, for joining today. Um, we're going to get an exclusive update on CODA, uh, which is a new project that just completed. And uh, we had the tour had a tour with our point three group not too long ago. Um, and it was very nice meeting you, Lily, there um, and walking through and really seeing kind of the, the finished product. It's really hard, I think, um, sometimes to visualize the views that you get um, in the city, especially where you guys are located. And I think that you guys have some of the most amazing and unique uh, views sitting that far south, kind of overlooking Pioneer Square, the International District, the stadiums, and and really some solid, you know, water city views that you wouldn't have expected um, when the building first, um, you know, started construction. So. Uh, great floor plans too, you know, walking through floor to ceiling windows definitely makes, you know, the space feel a lot um, larger. A lot of the square footages, the homes live a little bit larger than what you would normally think. Lots of sunlight uh, and great amenities too. So just kind of wanted to chat with you guys a little bit um, to maybe get a, just a general overview for those folks out there who are not as familiar with the project. Um, and then we could kind of dive deeper into where you guys are at right now with sales and pricing and, um, um, those type of things. So this, this building was completed about eight weeks ago. So we are brand new. We have 201 total homes. Uh, this building has been built by uh, Dali International out of Taiwan. So this is the very first project uh, in the States. So they have, um, they, they have spared no expense and pulled out all the stops because um, they want to do you know, more here and they want to create a brand and a, um, you know, and just kind of set, set the tone for, you know, what you can come to expect from a Dolly project. Uh, so they do have some, some others that are slated to come up uh, in other places in the city, but this is our first. And we took over the project uh, a, about a year ago. We came on sort of get to the finish line with the current pre-sales that they had and we're very happy to say that we will have our 50th closing this week so we are 25 percent closed awesome. as of this week which is which is great um yeah so that that is great news uh you know we still have a probably, you know, half a dozen to a handful of pre-sales that still need to complete. And then of course, you know, we have, we have new deals that have been coming in. So you will definitely be seeing some new pricing coming from our team uh, here hitting the MLS either this evening or first thing tomorrow. So we, we are very excited. Uh, we're very excited to, to, to generate some, uh, some more, some more sales and, and some volume here because we really feel like we are going to have the best, really the best pricing yeah. and the best opportunity of any new construction in the city. So, yeah, so the pricing reset, you know, a lot of the, the buildings are kind of doing that too, but I think specifically um, that'll kind of create a little bit more of the momentum that you guys have already built since your team has kind of taken on, especially going into fall. Um, you know, the winter months, we're all kind of speculating to uh, that we're still going to have a lot of a lot more buyer traffic just with, you know, people coming back to the office and and going into next year. Um, it feels like we're there's a lot of positive things going on. So it's a good time for a price drop to get the building filled in for sure. I was going to say, you're going to see some pricing that, um, you know, some of it is even going to start with a two. So I think people are going to be, you know, very excited about what we have to offer. Can we speak a little bit about, I guess, the building uh, construction a little bit and just um, just an overview of the height of the building and, you know, the different the different characteristics? Coda is sitting at down south of downtown a international district. So um, this is the the only brand new building in the area. Uh, we are a 17 stories building and uh, offer 200 brand new homes. So with the. Uh, um, 50 new homeowners just gained to the community. Um, this is going to bring a great uh, community to the neighborhood. Uh, so the building, we offer lots of amenities as well. So on the first floor, we have double high lobby with uh, kind of like a Japanese tea house concept of the lobby feeling. So when you enter the home, um, it's very calming, very welcoming. Uh, on the seventh floor, we have a gym, we have an urban zen garden, we have conference room, a media room. Also on uh, 
on the 17th floor, we have um, a gaming board area and all the all the area are um, multi-purpose and very high, low maintenance. So it's great for a high rise building. Uh, our HOA is 83 cents per square foot. So it's totally affordable for a uh, first time home buyer or investors is really good number and we have so much to offer. Yeah, I think you guys have a lot of amenity space for, you know, 200 homes to share. I mean, definitely the um, upper floors, your guys' rooftop deck and all that, um, yeah. you know, it seems like there's an emphasis on, um, you know, the amenity spaces and um, just multi, like you said, multi-purpose you know, different little nooks and crannies that people would go to to get out of their homes. Um, exactly. so very gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Yeah. And there's, there's definitely a major important put on a calm sense of, you know, of design and style. I mean, we are in Japantown. And so they definitely took that um, Japanese sensibility of, you know, the whole Zen design. It's very important here. And, and it definitely shows through all of the, all of the spaces. Good. So let's um, talk a little bit about floor plans. So uh, we have a handful of floor plans. Uh, we have studio, urban one bedroom, urban two bedroom, which is uh, two bedroom, one bathroom, and two bedroom, two bathroom, and also uh, one bedroom as well. So uh, yes, we have a handful of floor plans, lots of choices for different coming from uh, different uh, needs, backgrounds. And so you're the premier, um, I guess, four plans for the are the largest units. They're on the, the west side of the building, right? On the, the corners? Yes. Perfect. And what, what are your, what is the largest uh, unit that you guys have? So we have a, a unique unit on the 13th floor. That will be the biggest unit, unit of the building. It's about uh, close to 1,300 square feet indoor and 700 square feet outdoor. That is one of a kind unit, uh, has a fireplace outside. It's super cool. Uh, but besides from that, we our two bedroom is ranging about uh, from 1,000 square feet to uh, 1,100 square feet. Got it. Um, and what, that one that's on the, uh, you said the seventh floor? Uh, 13th. 13th floor. What is the, the price point of that or approximately, do you know? Yeah, so that will be a price around 1.43. Yeah, gotcha. And so then your studios are starting or will in the twos, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then go up from there. Um, is there any like favorite floor plans that you, you like at the moment? Uh, it kind of all depends on how much money I have. <laughs> <laughs> If I have 1.43, I'll grab that third floor two bedroom. Uh, but if I'm just a young professional working in an area with a uh, $500,000 um, price point, I think the urban one bedroom on the higher floor or uh, the real one bedroom, that would re work really great. Uh, every of our floor plan has a lot of window. So it's just very uh, efficient and lots of light. Um, it's perfect for a young professional working in that area. Good. Um, let's see, Tim, do you wanna to add to that at all? Well, I did wanna add about the location. One of the things I love the most about this location is how convenient it is. So I came down for a Mariners game on Saturday and I parked in the building and I was at the stadium in five minutes. It is so an awesome it's location. incredibly incredible. Well, and I think it's just a quick, if you're, you know, Seattle U is not too far away as well. You have the ferries just down at the bottom of the hill. Um, you jump on to I-5 very quick, um, be on I-90 very quick. I mean, it's a, it's a very efficient, and then of course you have all the transit with um, the King Station, you know, the train station right there, Sounder, all that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I find it has it has so much upside and so much potential for everything that's also building around us that it it is one of my favorite locations that you know we've worked on just because there is so much growth that can happen here. Nice. Um, so with that, I guess we could kind of dive into is there anything you want to touch on as far as the floor plans or anything like that? I think one of the things that is unique as well about our building is because where we are situated is all of our floor plans to the west. Really, if you are eighth floor and above, 
you're, you have protected views because you are looking over Pioneer Square. So you're looking over a neighborhood that is a historic protected low rise neighborhood, which is one thing that I think shocks people when they first come into the building and they do see those lovely west side units that are up higher, but it's not just those units. We do have a lot of space around us. So every unit has a lot of light. It is one thing that surprises people as well when they come here is, oh my goodness, this even this little studio has a ton of light. And clearly we all know living in the Northwest, you need that. For sure. Yeah, I was surprised too. Just, I think your floor to ceiling windows and like you said, a lot of open air space. So there isn't a lot of, you know, buildings that are pressed up right against um, you guys. So it's creating kind of that air space and, and a lot of natural light for sure. And I, you guys get Mount Rainier views too, don't you? We do. Yeah. Um, as far as, I guess, um, parking goes, can we touch on that a little bit? Yeah, so uh, parking is kind of a scarcity in the city. So um, our two bedroom in urban two bedroom uh, has the priority to have parking uh, for one bedroom or urban one bedroom or studio. Uh, parking isn't really an option uh, to purchase at the moment. So we have 74 parking versus 200 homes we have. Um, but if parking is important, uh, there are many parking lots of um, around the area that offer monthly rental. And we have a uh, awesome car sharing program. Uh, so people can really utilize the public transportation and uh, also uh, the car sharing program that's in the building. Perfect. And then, so at what point are one of those parking spots included in, in the purchase price? Or are they all additional? So for the uh, urban two bedroom and two yep. bedroom, they are included. Okay. Um, and then are there any that are an option for the studios or the, the like if one comes up, are they, they're all allocated already? Uh, they're all allocated, but at the end of, um, say like two years down, if all the units are sold out, but we still have some parking, we yep. are more than happy to offer for sale, yeah. We do have, a, we do have an agreement with Union Station Garage to where they are, you know, they're sort of giving us a, you know, a really nice price on monthly rentals. So we do have a partnership with a garage that's only two blocks away. Thanks. That's convenient for sure. But I suppose a lot of the buyers too might be coming in and, and utilizing all the, like you said, the public transportation that's right around the building too. Yes. It has actually been surprising how many two bedroom buyers we have here that um, don't necessarily need their parking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a trend we're seeing among, especially the relocating um, employees to the areas. A lot of them are choosing not to bring cars with them. So I think that that's kind of a, a trend that we're seeing throughout the city too. So as far as the management company for the building, you guys are CWD, is that right? Correct. Perfect. And you said uh, homeowners dues are about 83 a square foot? Yeah, 83 cents per square foot. Okay. And what is included in the homeowners dues? Yeah, so include uh, sewer, garbage, earthquake insurance, common area maintenance, mm -hmm. pretty much it, yeah. Okay, good. Um, and then you guys have uh, is air conditioning and, and throughout, which is great. And it is a steel and concrete structure. Um, which you don't, go ahead. Yeah. So you, you don't really see actually a lot of the mid-rise. I mean, it is a high-rise building, but still kind of one of the uh, shorter high-rise buildings out there. So you don't see a lot of that. And that's pretty unique. Um, and what else, what other features can we chat about? I think this is a more of a boutique building compared to other high-rises in the city. Uh, so we're going to see a lot more um, closer neighborhood, a smaller neighborhood. So people are probably gonna be more friendly with each other. 200 homeowners at the end of the day, they're probably gonna be old friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's very cute building with great community. Yep. Are you seeing um, um, primary homeowners or investors? Um, half and half. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, with the rental rates kind of on the rise, you might, you know, see, you know, more investors kind of entering into the market. And, and I think Coda would be a good, um, good investment for sure. 
Yes, yeah. So um, our investment, um, so for our rental, we don't allow short-term rental, so uh, definitely no Airbnb, but it's perfect for any executive uh, rental if people want to do six time uh, six month lease or um, or long term rental. Perfect. Yeah. So there's no rental cap; it's just the the rental term. Correct. Yep. Correct. Great. Nice. Um, and so you guys are. What are your hours there for the office for showings? Yeah. So we're open from Tuesday to Saturday, eleven a.m. to five p.m. So just give us a call or shoot us an email. We're happy to schedule a private tour for you. Nice. Cool. All right. Um, so we're, I guess we'll look forward to seeing new pricing um, hit the market here shortly, which will be exciting. And you guys are at 25% uh, sold and hoping to, to get sold out by the end of the year, right? Right. More sold. So 25% closed so far. Closed. Yes. Okay. So do we have a sold number? We're about 35% sold. 35 sold. Perfect. Good. Um, are you seeing different like trends in terms of your buyers that are coming in um, from different areas? Are they primary, you know, local buyers? Uh, both. Yeah. We see people uh, relocating from New York, from San Francisco. And um, so this is a perfect location because they might ha not have a car. So they just want to come in town and go to work. Um, also, we do have a lot of people uh, just going back to the office. So mm -hmm. they want to have a place closer to their work. Yeah, so we're seeing people really coming back to the city. Yeah, good. That's what we're kind of seeing too in the resale world. Um, one thing I did actually just popped into my mind, um, obviously you're a pet friendly building. Um, and then, and I think you guys have a pretty fabulous little um, dog area, right? With a yeah. dog wash and everything. Yeah, yeah. we have a dog lounge on the first floor. It's an indoor uh, dog run. So, you know, in Seattle, there's so much uh, rainy days. So you don't have to get wet to walk your dog. And yeah. we have a pet station uh, that you can wash your dogs in the back, so. Awesome. And then is there, um, talking about storage, I guess, are there extra storage units that uh, homeowners can purchase? Yes. So uh, we do actually have a lot of storage has been allocated with the units already. So lots of urban one bedroom and one bedroom, two bedroom. Um, a lot of them come with uh, storage. Nice. Okay. Um, and then bike storage. You guys have bike storage as well? Yeah, so bike storage will be in the garage area. Uh, they're just first come, first serve. Awesome. Good stuff. Cool. All right. Anything else you guys want to add? I just wanted to really quickly um, sort of just talk about the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we've had a lot of buyers sort of fall in love with is the fact that, you know, this neighborhood definitely has a soul and there's a lot of character here. And just even I, we actually had a new buyer talk about her main purpose was walkability and the walk score here is just incredible. So she couldn't believe she was living over in Bellevue and couldn't believe how many restaurants and, you know, cafes and just everything that she wanted was so close mm -hmm. that it is, it is nice to be part of a community that really feels like a community. So we're, we're very happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah. It like, I, um, I know I've mentioned or talked with you about it and other colleagues and stuff, you know, it is initially you think it's a very unique location. Um, and you can go both one way or the other, but it's surprisingly nice because of where it's kind of situated in the middle. I mean, it's kind of in the middle of everything. It's very accessible to all the different, you know, neighborhoods. You could shoot up, like I said, to Capitol Hill, you can first hill, you can go to Pioneer Square, you're in the international district, you're going to Soto, you're going into the city. So you're just right there on that cusp of everything. But like you said, it probably does have a really rich neighborhood vibe that's filled with a lot of history. Um, and a lot of people that, um, you know, have lived there for years in uh, mm -hmm. the surrounding buildings, they don't move. They, you know, they really enjoy their neighborhood and the walkability um, and the, trans the public transportation that's available in the neighborhood too. So I could definitely see that for sure. Yeah, it's, it always, I always love driving through here when I leave the building and I see, 
it's like the demographic is, you know, so many different ages and it actually feels like, oh, this, this is a real neighborhood. This is, you know, mm-hmm. there's, there are roots here. Good. Well, thank you guys for your time today. Um, <clears throat> we'll look for, like I said, the, the price drop and hopefully be able to send you a few, few buyers your way. Of course, we'll um, post your contact information too and everything um, here. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, and we'll just kind of keep in touch and see how things go. We're rooting for you guys. And and uh, we'll definitely um, try to, to marry some buyers and send them your way. Yeah, that will be great. Perfect. We appreciate you, Ashley. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. You guys have a great day. Thank you, Ashley. Bye. Bye-bye.